The sun hung low on the horizon, casting a warm golden glow over the snow-covered hill, where a group of spirited children and their frosty friend, Frosty, had gathered. It was the perfect winter's day for a snowball showdown, a friendly battle of epic proportions. Frosty, with his coal-black eyes gleaming and a carrot nose jiggling in excitement, stood at the forefront of his team. He had a twinkle in his snowy form that hinted at the mischief to come. The children, bundled up in layers of scarves, mittens, and hats, formed the opposing team. Their faces were flushed with exhilaration, and their laughter echoed through the frosty air. "'Ready, Frosty?' shouted Sarah, a daring young girl with a mischievous glint in her eye. "'Ready as ever, Sarah!' Frosty boomed with glee, his snowy arms already shaping a perfect snowball. The snowball fight began with a fury of activity. Snowballs whizzed through the crisp air, creating intricate patterns of white against the azure sky. Laughter filled the hill as kids dodged, ducked, and giggled, their cheeks turning rosy in the cold. Frosty was a master of snowball making. With a flick of his snowy hand, he crafted perfectly round snowballs, each one packed with the joy of winter. He effortlessly sent snowballs flying in all directions, earning cheers and giggles from his young companions. Sarah, with her nimble fingers and a keen aim, led the charge for the children. She darted behind snow-covered boulders, using them as shields, and hurled her snowballs with remarkable accuracy. Her snowball aimed at Frosty's nose, and with a playful grin, he let it hit, sending a puff of snow into the air. The battle raged on, the snow-covered hill turning into a winter battleground. Snowballs flew like cannonballs, and the snowy landscape bore witness to the epic showdown between Frosty and the kids. As the sun continued its descent, the air grew colder, and the sky turned a soft shade of pink and purple. The children, their energy waning but their spirits still high, huddled together to devise a plan. Frosty, ever the playful mentor, offered a mischievous twinkle of his eye, suggesting they regroup. With newfound enthusiasm, the kids formed a circle around Frosty, and together they crafted an enormous snowball. It was a work of art, round and smooth, ready for a spectacular finish. Frosty added the finishing touches, and the children gathered around to admire their creation. The showdown was about to reach its climax. Frosty, standing tall and proud, led his team to face the giant snowball with equal determination. The children, with their hearts full of merriment, gathered behind their colossal creation. As the two teams approached each other, laughter filled the air one final time. Then, with a joyful shout, the children and Frosty sent the giant snowball soaring towards their snowy friend. Frosty, with a hearty chuckle, let the massive projectile crash into him. Snow exploded into the sky, surrounding Frosty like a majestic snowy storm. For a moment, he disappeared within the white cloud. When the snow settled, he stood there, beaming from head to toe, his frosty form shimmering. The children erupted in cheers, celebrating the grand finale of their snowball showdown. Frosty, the ultimate champion, had faced their best shot with grace and delight. With the battle concluded, the children and Frosty embraced each other, sharing stories and hot cocoa, creating memories of winter's day filled with laughter and joy. The snow-covered hill bore the marks of their epic snowball showdown, a testament to the magic of friendship, fun, and the wonders of winter. In a sleepy little village nestled beneath a snowy mountain, the air was filled with excitement as Christmas drew near. The townsfolk hurried about, decorating their homes, baking gingerbread cookies, and singing cheerful carols. Yet in the heart of the village, there lived a tiny snowflake named Flurry. Flurry was unlike any other snowflake. He possessed a special magic. He could make wishes come true, but there was one catch. He could only grant one wish on Christmas Eve. Flurry had watched over the village for many winters, listening to the wishes of children and adults alike, but he had never made a wish for himself. As the snowflakes gently fell from the sky, Flurry gazed upon the twinkling Christmas lights and felt a longing in his heart. He realized that he too had a Christmas wish, a wish to experience the magic of Christmas for himself. 
With a flutter of his crystalline wings, Fleury floated down from the sky and landed softly on a windowsill. He whispered his wish to the quiet night. I wish to feel the joy of Christmas and share it with others. To his astonishment, a soft, melodic chime filled the air, and Fleury felt a tingling sensation. He was transformed into a tiny snow globe with a miniature village inside. Fleury was now part of the enchanting scene. As the night went on, Fleury watched as children and families gathered around the snow globe, their faces filled with wonder. The magic of Christmas flowed through the snow globe, filling it with warmth and joy. It was a sight to behold, and Fleury felt his heart swell with happiness. When Christmas morning arrived, the snow globe was placed on the windowsill where it caught the first rays of the sun. As the sunlight streamed through the glass, it created a dazzling display of colors and sparkles, filling the room with magic. People from the village came to admire the snow globe and they marveled at the beauty and wonder it brought. They realized that the true magic of Christmas was not in the presents or decorations, but in the love, joy, and togetherness shared with others. As the day came to a close, Fleury knew that his wish had come true. He had experienced the magic of Christmas and had shared it with others, just as he had always wished. And so, The Snowflake's Christmas Wish, a magical tale for kids, became a cherished story in the village, a reminder that the true spirit of Christmas lay not in the snowflakes or decorations, but in the love and kindness we shared with one another, making every Christmas a magical and unforgettable experience. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of more mystical tales and adventures. Make sure to like, comment, and share with fellow adventurers. The sleepy little village awoke to a picturesque winter morning, with the landscape draped in a soft white blanket of freshly fallen snow. Excitement buzzed through the air as the villagers and their frosty friend, Frosty, had decided to organize the most magnificent and creative event of the winter season. The Great Snow Sculpt Off Children of all ages gathered in the village square, their eyes bright with anticipation. They huddled together, clutching their mittens and scarves, eager to embark on this artistic adventure. Frosty, with his coal-black eyes twinkling and a carrot nose jiggling with excitement, stood as the judge and the master of ceremonies. Welcome, everyone, to the Great Snow Sculpt Off! Frosty bellowed in his warm, jovial voice, his snowy arms outstretched to the audience. Today, we shall sculpt the most incredible snow creatures, the likes of which have never been seen before. The children, bundled up against the chill, gathered around the mounds of snow that awaited their creative touch. Armed with their snow shovels, mittens, and imagination, they dove into their respective snow piles with enthusiasm. Sarah, a girl with a knack for detail, began to mold a majestic snow dragon. With her mittened hands, she carefully sculpted each scale and curve, breathing life into the mythical creature. Beside her, Tom tackled a unicorn, its horn spiraling into the air with a sense of magic and grace. The other children, equally absorbed in their tasks, brought snow giraffes, polar bears, and even a towering snow castle to life. Frosty, never one to be left behind, got to work on his own creation. With his snowy fingers, he shaped a round, jolly snow penguin. Its plump belly and beady eyes beamed with merriment and a dapper top hat adorned its snowy head. Frosty's creation seemed to possess the spirit of winter itself. As the hours passed, the village square transformed into a winter wonderland filled with snow sculptures of all shapes and sizes. The children and Frosty poured their hearts into their creations, fueled by the camaraderie and creativity that flowed among them. Finally, as the sun began to dip below the horizon, the sculptures were complete. The children and Frosty gathered around their Frosty friends, the crisp winter air carrying their joyous laughter. It was time for the judging. As the group of local squirrels, who had been carefully observing from their perches in the trees, convened as the judges, Frosty's heart raced with anticipation. Would his snow penguin win the competition, or would the other snow creatures steal the show? The squirrels, known for their keen sense of judgment, scurried down from the branches, after a few moments of animated chattering, they reached a unanimous decision. 
Frosty's heart swelled with pride as the head squirrel stepped forward. In a tie of creativity, charm, and sheer winter magic, we declare Frosty's snow penguin the most delightful of all, the head squirrel announced, nodding at the charming creation. The children and Frosty cheered in delight. It wasn't about winning or losing. It was about coming together to celebrate the wonders of winter and the joy of creativity. Each snow sculpture was unique and beautiful in its own way. The villagers and their frosty friend spent the evening reveling in the magic of the great snow sculpt off. As the stars began to twinkle in the darkening sky, the snow sculpture sparkled in the moonlight. Frosty's snow penguin, with its twinkling eyes and dapper top hat, was a testament to the magic of winter and the beauty of friendship. The night passed in a flurry of laughter, hot cocoa, and stories. The village square, adorned with these remarkable snow creations, became a true winter wonderland, a place where the spirit of creativity and togetherness reigned supreme. And so, dear children, always remember that the most magnificent art is the one that comes from the heart. Subscribe to our channel for more tales of creativity, laughter, and the wonders of winter. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of more mystical tales and adventures. Make sure to like, comment, and share with fellow adventurers. In the heart of the village, where it was called Winter Wonderland, there stood a snowman named Frosty, his eyes twinkling with mischief. As soon as the first snowflakes of winter graced the village, the children eagerly awaited the day when Frosty would come to life and bring the magic of winter to life. On one particularly crisp and snow-covered morning, the children gathered around their frosty friend, their faces beaming with excitement. It was clear that something special was in the air. Frosty, with his carrot nose jiggling in anticipation, had a delightful surprise in store for them, a game of snowy hide and seek. Listen up, everyone, Frosty called, his voice as warm and inviting as a crackling fireplace. Today we're going to play a game of hide and seek, but with a snowy twist. The children's eyes lit up with curiosity, and they eagerly gathered around Frosty to hear the rules of the game. In this winter wonderland, the rules were simple. Frosty, with his magical snowy abilities, could transform himself into anything made of snow. The children would close their eyes and count to ten, and Frosty would take on a clever disguise. Their task was to find him amidst the snowy landscape. With a chorus of laughter, the children closed their eyes and began counting while Frosty disappeared into the white world around them. Snow-covered trees, snowdrifts, and snow-laden bushes were all potential hiding spots for their frosty friend. As the children reached the count of ten, their eyes flew open, and the snowy hide-and-seek adventure began. Frosty, now disguised as a snow-covered mailbox, watched with twinkling eyes as the children set off in different directions, searching high and low. Little Sarah, with her sharp eye for detail, thought she spotted something unusual about the mailbox. She approached it cautiously and poked it with a mitten-covered finger. The mailbox jiggled, and, with a burst of laughter, Frosty emerged from his snowy disguise. Gales of laughter filled the air as the children realized they had been outwitted by their playful snowman friend. But there was no time for disappointment, for this game was all about having fun and sharing in the joy of winter. The game continued with Frosty, taking on various snow disguises, a snow-covered sled, a snow bunny, and even a snow-covered bench. The children, now seasoned seekers, scoured the winter landscape, their laughter echoing through the snowy hills. Frosty, while a master of disguise, couldn't suppress his hearty laughter. No matter how clever his snow disguises, his unmistakable laughter always gave him away, much to the children's delight. The game of snowy hide-and-seek continued until the children were tired from their snowy adventure, their faces flushed and rosy from the excitement. With the sun dipping below the horizon, they returned to the village square, where a roaring fireplace awaited them. They warmed their cold fingers and toes, sipped hot cocoa, and shared stories of their snowy hide-and-seek escapades. Marshmallows sizzled and melted in their mugs, creating a sweet end to a perfect winter's day. The village square glowed with the warmth of friendship, and Frosty, with his snow-covered hat and twinkling eyes, couldn't have been happier. 
This snowy hide-and-seek game had brought the magic of winter alive, and the memories of that day would forever warm their hearts. And so, dear children, remember that in the chill of winter, the warmest memories are created in the company of friends and the magic of laughter. Subscribe to our channel for more tales of winter wonder, joy, and the enchantment of friendship. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of more mystical tales and adventures. Make sure to like, comment, and share with fellow adventurers. Once upon a time, in a quiet village among snow-covered hills, there lived a friendly and jovial snowman named Frosty. Frosty was no ordinary snowman. He had a heart as warm as the Christmas hearth, and he loved the holiday season more than anything. Every year, Frosty watched the villagers bustling around, decorating their homes and spreading cheer. He longed to join in the festivities, but being a snowman, he was rooted to his spot in the village square. His dream was to see the Christmas lights twinkle, hear the carolers sing, and feel the warmth of a loving family's embrace. One frosty evening, as Frosty gazed longingly at the nearby village, he noticed something extraordinary. A bright star in the night sky seemed to be descending, drawing nearer and nearer. Before he knew it, the star landed right in front of him, revealing a radiant ethereal presence, the star was a Christmas spirit named Stella, sent to grant Frosty's dearest wish. Stella explained that he would have the chance to experience the joys of Christmas as a human for just one magical night. With a sprinkle of starlight, Frosty was transformed into a kind-hearted boy named Jack. He felt the tingling sensation of human hands and the warmth of his own heart beating. Stella led him into the village, where he experienced the wonders of Christmas like never before. Jack joined the carolers in song, decorated a Christmas tree, and shared stories with the villagers. But the most magical moment came when he was invited into a loving family's home. He savored a festive feast, exchanged gifts, and felt the warmth of their care. As the clock struck midnight, Jack knew his time as a human was coming to an end. Stella returned, and with another sprinkle of starlight, Jack turned back into Frosty the Snowman. But he was no longer the same snowman. His heart was filled with the memories of that magical Christmas night. But Frosty was content, knowing that he had experienced the true spirit of Christmas. From that day on, he radiated warmth and happiness, bringing joy to the village throughout the holiday season. And so, dear children, never underestimate the magic of Christmas, it can turn even the coldest of snowmen into the warmest of hearts. Subscribe to our channel for more heartwarming Christmas stories, and may your holiday season be filled with love and enchantment. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of more mystical tales and adventures. Make sure to like, comment, and share with fellow adventurers. In a picturesque winter wonderland, there stood a magical snowman named Benny. Benny wasn't an ordinary snowman. He had a twinkle in his coal-black eyes and a carrot nose that could wiggle when he was excited. What made Benny truly special was his gift of bringing snow sculptures to life with a gentle touch of his frosty hand. One crisp December morning, as the sun painted the sky in hues of pink and gold, a little girl named Lily ventured into the snow-covered park. With her mittens on and a wide smile on her face, she noticed Benny and couldn't help but admire the snowman's sparkling charm. Benny, in turn, was enchanted by Lily's warm-hearted spirit. He longed to make her Christmas extra special, but how could he give her a gift when he was made of snow? With a wink and a gentle touch, Benny brought a beautiful snow horse to life. It galloped gracefully around the park, leaving a trail of sparkling snowflakes, Lily's eyes widened with amazement, and she knew that Benny was no ordinary snowman. Lily and Benny soon became fast friends. They built snow castles, had snowball fights, and shared stories of Christmas's past. Each day, Benny would create a new snow friend for Lily to play with, and together, they would have the most incredible adventures. But as Christmas drew nearer, Benny grew anxious. What could he possibly give Lily to show his appreciation for their friendship? he decided to ask the wise old snow owl, Oliver, who lived in the nearby trees. 
Oliver advised Benny that the greatest gift he could give was the magic of Christmas itself. On Christmas Eve, Benny decided to bring all his snow creations to life for a grand, sparkling winter celebration. As the clock struck midnight, the park came alive with snow animals dancing and snow fairies twinkling in the moonlight. Benny and Lily danced together, hand in snowball hand, in a magical winter waltz. As the first rays of dawn touched the sky, Benny felt a bittersweet tug in his frosty heart. He knew it was time to return to his snowman form, but the memories of that magical night would stay with him forever. Lily, grateful for the unforgettable Christmas gift of friendship and magic, gave Benny a warm hug and whispered her secret Christmas wish. The next morning, Benny woke up to find a shiny new scarf and hat, woven by Lily's own hands, hanging around his snow neck. And so, dear children, remember that the most magical gifts of all are the ones that come from the heart. Subscribe to our channel for more heartwarming Christmas stories, and may your holiday season be filled with love, laughter, and enchantment. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of more mystical tales and adventures. Make sure to like, comment, and share with fellow adventurers. In the enchanting North Pole, where snowflakes danced in the crisp winter air, lived Santa Claus and his cheerful team of elves. Santa was known far and wide for his generosity, his twinkling eyes, and his boundless love for children. As Christmas Eve drew near, Santa Claus was busy preparing for his yearly journey around the world to deliver presents to boys and girls. Yet this year, he had a special surprise in mind. One snowy afternoon, as Santa was going through his list of children's wishes, he noticed a letter from a little girl named Emily. Her letter was filled with kind words, beautiful drawings, and a heartfelt wish. She wished for her family to have a warm and joyful Christmas, filled with love and laughter. Touched by Emily's selflessness and her genuine love for her family, Santa decided to grant her wish in a special way. He reached into a hidden drawer in his workshop and pulled out a shimmering golden key. This, Santa whispered, is the key to the most magical Christmas surprise. Santa called upon his trusty reindeer, and together they set off on a snowy adventure to Emily's town. When they arrived at her home, Santa used the golden key to unlock the door. Inside, they discovered a room transformed into a winter wonderland, complete with a sparkling Christmas tree, glowing lights, and presents beneath the tree. Santa knew that Emily's wish for her family had come true. Santa returned to the North Pole, his heart filled with warmth and joy. He realized that the magic of Christmas wasn't just in the presents, but in the love and kindness shared with others. On Christmas morning, as Emily and her family awoke to the magical surprise, they felt the true spirit of Christmas, a spirit of love, togetherness, and the joy of giving. From that day forward, Santa's golden key became a symbol of the magic of Christmas, a reminder that the greatest gifts were not found in wrapped packages, but in the love we shared with family and friends. And so, Santa's golden key, a Christmas adventure for kids, became a cherished story, a testament to the enchantment of the holiday season and the power of love and kindness to make dreams come true. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of more mystical tales and adventures. Make sure to like, comment, and share with fellow adventurers. In a little village nestled in the heart of a snowy valley, Christmas was a time of enchantment. Snowflakes fell gently from the sky, blanketing the world in a soft white embrace. The villagers decorated their homes with twinkling lights, sang carols and exchanged thoughtful gifts, all while sipping on hot cocoa by the cozy fireplace. But among the millions of snowflakes that adorned the village, there was one special snowflake named Snowy. Unlike the others, Snowy was different. He had a dream, a dream of experiencing the magical wonders of Christmas himself. Each night, as he danced gracefully through the winter sky, Snowy gazed down at the joyful village below. He watched the children build snowmen, families decorate their homes, and friends exchange gifts, and his heart filled with a longing to be a part of it all. 
One snowy night, as Snowy drifted down to rest on the windowsill of a little girl named Mia, he whispered his Christmas wish. Mia, who had always believed in the magic of the season, overheard Snowy's wish and smiled. She carefully caught Snowy on her fingertip and with a twinkle in her eye, whispered back, I'll make your Christmas wish come true, Snowy. Mia placed Snowy inside a tiny glass globe, along with a pinch of glittering stardust and a drop of her own heartfelt wish. She shook the globe gently, and to Snowy's amazement, he felt a warm, magical glow surround him. The next morning, as Mia's family opened their Christmas presents, a miracle occurred. Snowy's glass globe began to glow, and suddenly, he found himself inside Mia's home, surrounded by laughter and love. He had become a part of Mia's magical Christmas. Snowy marveled at the joy of decorating the tree, sipping hot cocoa, and exchanging heartfelt gifts with Mia and her family. He realized that his dream had come true, and it was even more magical than he had ever imagined. As Christmas Day came to a close, Mia gently released Snowy back into the snowy night sky, where he joined his fellow snowflakes. With a heart full of gratitude, Snowy continued to dance through the winter sky, now knowing that the magic of Christmas was not just in the decorations and gifts, but in the love and kindness shared with others. And so, the Snowflake's Christmas Dream, a tale of winter magic, became a cherished story in the village, a reminder that the enchantment of the holiday season was not only found in the snow, but also in the warmth of the heart and the magic of dreams coming true. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of more mystical tales and adventures. Make sure to like, comment, and share with fellow adventurers. In a little town beneath a blanket of winter snow lived two siblings named Lily and Ben. They eagerly awaited the arrival of Christmas each year, not just for the presents, but for the joy of sharing kindness and love with their friends and neighbors. One chilly December day, as they strolled through the town square, they came across an enchanting tree adorned with twinkling lights, ornaments, and ribbons of every color. This tree was unlike any other, for it was known as the Kind Wishing Tree. As the siblings approached the tree, they noticed handwritten notes hanging from its branches, each containing a heartfelt wish for kindness and goodwill. Lily read one aloud, I wish for warmth and comfort for those in need. Ben picked another note, which read, May everyone find a smile and a friend during the holiday season. Touched by the wishes on the tree, Lily and Ben decided to make their own. Lily wished for all the animals in the forest to have a cozy place to rest, while Ben wished for the elderly in their town to feel loved and cherished. To their astonishment, as soon as they hung their wishes on the tree, a gentle breeze rustled the branches, and the ornaments seemed to shimmer with a warm, golden light. The kind wishing tree began to sparkle with magic. The next morning, Lily and Ben awoke to a heartwarming surprise. Outside their window, a group of woodland creatures had gathered, enjoying the cozy nests and shelters that had appeared overnight. In the town square, cheerful carolers visited the elderly, bringing smiles and friendship to their doors. Lily and Ben realized that their wishes had come true, and the magic of the kind wishing tree had touched the hearts of all in their town. They felt a warmth and joy that could only come from spreading kindness and love. Inspired by their experience, Lily and Ben, along with their friends, organized acts of kindness throughout the holiday season. They delivered food to those in need, sang carols to bring cheer, and shared their laughter and time with others. As Christmas Day approached, the kind wishing tree continued to shine with magic, its ornaments radiating with the wishes of kindness and goodwill. The entire town embraced the spirit of giving, making this Christmas the most magical and heartwarming one ever. And so, the Christmas Kindness Tree, a heartwarming tale for kids, became a cherished story, reminding everyone that the true magic of Christmas was not just in the presents, but in the love, kindness, and goodwill shared with others. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of more mystical tales and adventures. Make sure to like, comment, and share with fellow adventurers.
In a small, cozy town nestled amidst snowy hills and twinkling stars, Christmas was a time of joy and wonder. Children eagerly awaited the day when the streets would be adorned with lights and their homes filled with the scent of freshly baked cookies. But this year, something extraordinary was about to happen. A group of curious children, Lily, Ben, and Emma, set out one snowy afternoon in search of the perfect Christmas tree. As they trudged through the snowy forest, their laughter echoed through the trees. After a long search, they stumbled upon a tree that stood apart from the rest. The tree was unlike any they had ever seen. Its branches shimmered with a soft golden glow, and its leaves were adorned with delicate, sparkling ornaments. The children approached the tree in awe and wonder. As they reached out to touch the tree's branches, a soft, melodic voice whispered in the air, I am the enchanted Christmas tree. I can grant you one magical wish this Christmas. Lily, with her heart full of kindness, wished for warmth and shelter for all the animals in the forest. In an instant, a gentle glowing light surrounded the tree, and the forest came alive with cozy nests, burrows, and shelter for all the creatures. Ben, with his love for music, wished for a grand musical celebration that would fill the town with joy. The enchanted Christmas tree granted his wish, and the town square was transformed into a magnificent stage with instruments that played by themselves. Emma, with her spirit of adventure, wished for a winter wonderland where the children could skate on frozen ponds and sled down snowy hills. The enchanted Christmas tree granted her wish, and the children's laughter filled the air as they glided and played in the magical winter landscape. As the night fell and the stars shone brightly, the children realized that the true magic of Christmas lay not just in the wishes granted, but in the joy of giving. They decided to share their magical gifts with the townspeople, inviting them to join in the festivities. The town square was soon filled with laughter, music, and the warmth of holiday spirit. The children, with their hearts full of kindness, had brought the true meaning of Christmas to life. The enchanted Christmas tree, pleased with their selflessness, shimmered with delight. It whispered, Remember, the magic of Christmas lies within each of you, and it can be shared with the world. From that day on, the enchanted Christmas tree became a cherished tradition in the town, a reminder that Christmas was not just a time for wishes, but a time for love, kindness, and the magic of giving. The children knew that the true enchantment of the holiday season was the joy of sharing it with others. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of more mystical tales and adventures. Make sure to like, comment, and share with fellow adventurers, 